Hi, for this Agile CRM video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and work with landing pages in Agile CRM. What we need to do is go to the marketing area of the dashboard. And just click landing pages. And since I don't have a landing page saved, I just need to click add landing page. And this is going to open up the landing page builder in Agile. The way that this works is that you build your page by dragging and dropping blocks onto the building canvas. Here are the blocks divided by uh, categories, or you can click all blocks to see all of them. But before we move over to the blocks, I want to take a look at and show you uh, some features. Uh, you can certainly preview uh, the landing page on a mobile, a tablet, and also, of course, the computer. And then we have a settings button to where you can add page settings and this is going to give you the ability to add a page title of course a meta description and keywords uh, header uh, content uh, code page CSS and JavaScript and of course uh, once you've added that you would just click Save but I'm going to close this out and back to the blocks I want to start with a header so I would just need to grab the header drag it to the appropriate place and drop it and each each block does have this a same type of settings option you can move the block you can access the source code you can reset and also remove the block but for instance with this header I'll give you an example let's say I want to remove this logo I just point to it click and the detail editor is going to appear. Now if I wanted to add a different image I could. I could click upload image. Uh, I could also you know, use a URL to link it. Use a block link. But if I want to remove this I just click remove. Confirm. And as you can see it has been removed. To edit the text for instance in this, uh, this area I just click it the detail editor opens up and I can change it to something like my company you can also uh, you know of course add the link you can choose a block link as well because this is a link and click apply changes and for the navigation uh, let's just say I need to remove this work button I don't need that I would click remove and it would be gone as I'm constructing this landing page let's just say one of my needs is a video so I can choose for instance this block that does have the option to add a video drag it and drop it point to the video box enter the YouTube or Vimeo link I could also add a recorded video these would be videos that I have made uh, in the email templates builder I can enter an image also remove if I need to the video icon which is this red circle with the arrow and of course any changes I would click apply changes I also have the ability to edit the text of course if I point to this header text just remove this detail editor I can change these options of course bold italicize underline and so on and just place the cursor where I want to edit I can edit font size color font family have the option to add dynamic test a uh, text close that out and of course these buttons you know could be used to to link and it's the detail editor appears I can change the text uh, I can also add the link as well and then when I'm when I'm done I just click Save now and title the page we will just simply call it my landing page and of course you have the option to preview and to publish it I'm going to click publish and it's going to take me back to the dashboard and in order to publish this I would just need to add a subdomain and then my domain and then I would just need to go to uh, my DNS and um, 
uh, set it up there. I can publish my landing page to the, my domain of choice and just follow the instructions here on the right side. And then, of course, you would click Save. So, for instance, if I wanted to call it page, mysite.com. So the URL would be page.mysite.com. And as you can see, the instructions appear to create the CNAME record in your DNS settings with the host as page and the destination as landing.agilecrm.com. But I would just save that. And if I need to access the landing page later to make changes, just click landing page, open it up, and I can edit. I can edit more. Say in this case I wanted to add a form to the landing page, so I would just take this block, drop it into place, and I'm going to scroll down point to the form and click and then just add one of the forms that I have created and apply changes and as you can see my form has been added and then I would save it and then I can go back to the dashboard and if I needed to add another landing page for linking purposes I could there well I hope this video has been helpful thank you so much for watching